mantle of security is lifted from America's combat missile assembly lines. The Michigan Ordnance Plant, where the Army's Redstone and Intermediate Range Jupiter are built, is one of the, till now, secret facilities, to which newsmen were admitted for the first time, coincidentally with President Eisenhower's denial of congressional criticisms that America lags in missile production. Said Ink, the nation should be proud of its missile progress. The Thor missile, also in full production for the Air Force at Santa Monica, is already deployed at overseas bases. Here, just off the production line, the rocket itself receives final tests as part of an entire weapon system which includes a mobile control center and launching device. Less than a year ago, the Thor was in the experimental stage at Cape Canaveral. Today, it is fully operational. Another missile just going into assembly line production is the Atlas, one of which carried the talking satellite. Another, shown here, made headlines with its recent launching from Canaveral. The three-engine rocket lowers aloft in almost flawless style, presumably headed downrange for its full intercontinental reach. Soon to enter operational status, the Atlas, combat ready. <laughs> Mardi Gras, Mediterranean style. A ticker tape parade up Broadway from the Battery to City Hall, New York's traditional reception for heroes and visiting dignitaries, draws an estimated 300,000 onlookers to hail President Arturo Frondizi of Argentina. It's the beginning of a crowded two and a half days in Gotham for the Argentine chief of state, who is in this country to build goodwill and encourage private investment in his nation. An auspicious start to his visit as Dr. Frondizi's motorcade reaches City Hall and Mayor Wagner echoes officially New York's warm welcome. In New York, the 79th birthday celebration of General Douglas MacArthur, former Supreme Commander of Allied Forces in the Far East, the General slices into a birthday cake of a size and grandeur appropriate both to his years and his fame. Greetings from a pre-World War II aide, Dwight D. Eisenhower, are conveyed by Major General Leif Sperdraut and joined in by all the nations. 